Hello, first grade parents. Welcome to our second week of having learning opportunities at home. And it's so funny that kids came up to you this week like, oh, we have homework. And I'm like, well, we can call it homework or we can call it a learning opportunity. Personally, I'm a big fan of learning opportunity, but that's just me. Um, anyway, I want to make sure that we're clear with the directions for this week. So the first one, I, I apologize that you're seeing my my drawings. Um, that's an area I'm still developing. Uh, the reason you see my drawings is because when I transferred over the Word doc into a Google doc, um, it did not transfer over very well. So in this first problem, you were given a grid of 3 by 3 or a total of 9 squares. So we could say 9 minus 5 equals 4 for our subtraction problem. We could say 9 minus 4 equals 5. We also could say 4 plus 5 equals 9. So when you look at this for each problem, you know, out here there'll be an addition problem, there'll be a subtraction problem. For here, there'll be an addition problem, there'll be a subtraction problem. Here, there'll be an addition problem, a subtraction problem. Down below, you're just adding, you know, just working on your math facts. You know, 4 plus 5 is what? 2 plus 7 is what? When we go to the second page, the second page has us focusing on a situation where we have, you know, dots. <clears throat> so in our first example, we're being told that 4, there's 4 dots here. There's seven dots here, so that means we have a total of 11 dots. So you're going to be saying, okay, how many total dots are here? Write that there. How many total dots are here? Write that there. And then how many total dots do you have? Write it there. And you'll do that for each one of those problems. Down the bottom, um, you're being introduced to a little, a little bit of idea of fractions uh, this week. So it says, draw lines to show three different ways to cut a sandwich in half, which is two equal parts. Label the parts one half. So let's say that we decided to cut this first one in half this way. So we would write one half and one half. So see if you can, now that I've shown you one way, don't use my way. Come up with three other ways to break those squares into halves. The bottom, it says there's a circle, which represents a pie. It says draw lines to show how four people can share a pie. Four equal parts, label your parts one fourth. So, you know, you'll break up the circle. Now the last part is a challenge, um, and that's, you know, the idea is for it to be challenging and not, it's not meant to, you know, if you bang it out right away, I apologize, I need to do better on my challenge problems and make it more challenging. But these are things that you haven't necessarily covered specifically in class, but areas where I would think you could take some of the things you have seen and apply them to solve these problems. Um, so when we look at the first one, it's, you know, we have 60 plus 60 equals what? I know those are large numbers you work with, but you know 6 plus 6 is 12, so 60 plus 60 must be 120. Again, it's just using that, that combination, that number sense. Um, so you'll be solving them. The next problem is I'm a two-digit number. So if you think about that, I'm a two-digit number. The sum of my digits, when I add these two digits together, the sum of my digits is 17. My ones digit, my ones digit is one more than my tens digit. What number am I? Okay. Then we talk about repeated addition is the same as multiplication. Well, it is. If you say 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, well, you could add that up and say that's a total of 35. Or you could say, well, wait, 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, isn't that the same as 5 groups of 7 or 5 times 7, which is also 35? So then I'm giving it the other way. I'm going to give it to you as a multiplication problem. 4 sixes is the same as, and think about it through repeated addition. 4 sixes, 4 groups of 6, how would you do that through repeat addition? Or 8 groups of 5 is the same as. That's what you're doing there. Then the last part is fill in the missing blank to make the statement true. So we have 12 plus what number is 25? 37 lose what number is 18? 18 plus what number is 33? Um, the goal of these sheets, um, there's three of them, would be that you would do, you know, you'd pick maybe Monday night you do one sheet, Tuesday night the next, Wednesday night the next, maybe you do one sheet on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The goal is not to have you do it all in one sitting. I mean, if it works out that way, that's okay too. But the, really the point is to just keep you working on your math skills and moving forward. So enjoy, and if you have any questions, please reach out.